What's up YouTube, Alien Rides here, and today we are going to look at one of the most polarizing electric scooters of 2019. We're going to look at the Boosted Rev electric scooter. I say polarizing because Boosted is a company who's well known for making quality electric skateboards. They've recently released an electric scooter though, and a lot of their core fans are not too happy about this. They'd rather the company be working on higher range and faster electric skateboards, but I think they wanted a piece of the growing electric scooter market. So we're here at the beta store today and they're doing a little event. I'm not like a huge YouTuber or anything, so I don't have the clout to get into the early release launches yet, but we're just gonna check it out at this open event, go on a little ride and check out the scooter. Subscribe and let's ride. So let's talk about the boosted rev while we check out some ride footage. At first glance, I could definitely tell this is a quality built scooter. All of the components felt very sturdy and the stem didn't bulge much at all. I think the stem was actually a lot more secure than my Dualtron. The throttle wheel is extremely innovative and it's impressive to me because you don't see a lot of innovation in this area. I do feel that there's just too many ways to brake though. With the boosted rev, the braking methods are innovative, but it might be overkill for this scooter. On the rev, you can pull back on the throttle control, use the disc brake lever, or use the rear foot friction braking. For something as critical as braking, I'm just not convinced that more options are better. When I'm riding my high-powered electric scooter, all I have to do is hit the throttle and brake levers when needed. Surprisingly, the scooter did not come with any suspension whatsoever. I thought it was going to be a really bumpy ride, but actually the tires did a fairly decent job at soaking up the smaller bumps on the road. I would personally still seek out a scooter with suspension though. Is it maxed out? Yeah. 18? 18 up the hill? Let's talk about the target market of the scooter. The Boosted Rev is a solid offering for the typical commuter who wants a good looking and quality vehicle to get to work. It's not a monster scooter or something that I would take for long cruises or off-roading, but it could be a nice upgrade if you currently have a Xiaomi or similar low-end scooter. If you're looking for a bit more fun in your scooter, there's probably a better option with higher speed and range. At the price point of $1,600, this goes head to head with other scooters like the Zero 10 X, which is going to offer higher speeds and riding comfort. With a bit more spend, you could potentially look at the Speedway 5 or Mini Motors Dualtron Spider for a similar weight package. That's all we got for now. There's a few more minutes of FPV riding footage that follows. Feel free to check it out, and thanks for watching.
Acceleration, that's all I need to know. Accelerate this way, yep. back brakes this way. Sounds good. And then it's already in mode three. Okay, that's fast mode. That's all there is? Yep. Brake if I need it. Okay, let's take it out, thanks. All right guys, we're surrounded the boosted. Let's take it out. Not in a great area town, but see what we can do. Not a lot of range on the wheel. I thought I'd have a little bit more. Decent acceleration, more than a lime or a bird for sure. Run this red light, run the stuff line. 18 miles an hour, looks like 19, 20. The handlebars are really stiff. They feel really good. Really stable, 23, 24. Looks like we're gonna hit 24, so slide uphill here. Brakes are really smooth. If I need. The wheel is nice. I like the wheel. A little bumpy on these bumps here but it's not bad actually i thought it'd be a lot worse i keep forgetting to go the other way in the wheel just because i'm used to my dultron but I'll try to remember to do that Did I not go down enough? A little bit lost here. 